guys this is Jay from Maji and Jay and today we're going to be reviewing here the Elphone G7 in which I got from the website penandwill.com and for those who remember when I unboxed this device I forgot to mention that there's a coupon code and the regular price is $149 but there's a coupon for $12 so you guys can get it right now for $138 now have in mind that the coupon is going to expire by the end of this month so if you guys are interested I would recommend getting it as soon as possible as 138 for this phone is actually quite impressive. The first thing we can see on the front here guys is the 5.5 inch. It is a 5 point multi touch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. If you look on the top here we're going to find the ear speaker together with the proximity and light sensor and the 8 megapixel sensor camera. On the bottom we can't see it but we're going to have the menu key, the home key and also the back key. And the display, what I like about it is that when it's off, it's matching perfectly well here with the remaining of the bezel, making it seem like one piece. It's something that I prefer on these devices because it makes it look a lot premium. And also, don't forget guys that this device is going to be 5.5 millimeters thin, but that's only going to be on the edges. It does have a metallic frame on the right and also on the left side of the device. And by the middle, it's going to be about 7.2 millimeters thin. If you look here on the left side, we're going to find the volume rockers up and down. On the bottom, we're going to have the microphone together with the loudspeaker. On the right side, we're just going to have here the power button. And then on the top, you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the charging slash data port. On the back, we have a 30 megapixel sensor camera, which is a great camera in my opinion. We also got a dual LED flash, the L phone logo, and finally on the bottom here, it says keep expecting and be surprised. The back has an egg shell finish, uh, making it feel very nice and soft and comfortable in your hands as well. And when your hands are wet or slippery because you're sweating, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off your hands. And a lot of that has to do with the metal frame. It is very grabby. I do like that a lot. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is an IPS OGS display. And we're going to be testing the viewing angles right now. Okay, guys. And here we can see that on viewing angles, the colors are very nice and vivid. So yes, this is definitely an IPS OGS display. Okay guys, and there we saw the viewing angles of this device and as we can see the colors are very nice and vivid. If you flip the device around, we're going to go ahead and open the back cover and here we're going to find the 2650 milliamp battery which I was able to get a hold of pretty much the entire day with this device and I didn't have to charge it and I was doing the GPS test, the Wi-Fi test, camera test and all the tests that you guys can imagine and the battery did last me the whole day. This is definitely great news. It is also a dual stand, dual standby device and it's going to support 3G here in the USA with AT&T and that's because it is a WCDMA 850 and 2100. We also got here a TF card slot and supports up to 64 gigabytes. And the construction of this phone is going to be very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 because we have a metal frame but the inside is still made of plastic. And the overall construction of it guys, it is very nice and firm and for $138 I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Okay guys, and now talking about the internals of this device, this is going to be running the MTK 6592M, which is clocked at 1.4 GHz, it is an octa-core processor. We have 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage, but as we know, we can easily upgrade it with a TF card. And the operating system here is going to be the Android 4.4.2, it is the KitKat, and I have already confirmed that here on About the Device. And actually some other software that I use because we know that this could be fake easily. We got the model number Elphone G7. If we tap on here several times, we can once again confirm that yes, this is the Android KitKat. And let's go ahead and tap it once more. And we can see guys that so far it looks legit. And something about Elphone is that they do not fake the operating system. They actually are legit when it comes to their software. Unlike clones, sometimes they are fake, so we have to be careful. And also guys, we can see here how the menu key, the home key, and the back key, they light up very nicely. Now have in mind that the home key is also a notification light. So every time you guys get an email, a text message, a missed call, this is going to blink and it's only going to be one solid color. Also, a uh, YouTube member noticed it that every time I flip the device on angles, we can see that the menu key appears to be a little bit brighter on this side. And if I do the same thing for the other side, it does appear to be a little bit brighter here on the back uh, key. And that's because the LED light is going to be on the center here. So every time you flip the device, it appears to be a little bit brighter. That's not an issue. At least I don't consider it an issue, but a lot of people might think or get confused that the light's a little bit brighter on one side than the other. But again, guys, that's only on the angles that you're viewing it. And then getting back here to the operating system, we can see that I have already installed some applications. And the great news is that this device already comes pre-installed with the Play Store. So you guys don't have to worry about that or you know having to read the device to install it directly into the system. It comes like this out of the box. There are some applications missing like Gmail. We also got the YouTube application missing, but that's a simple fix. 
All you guys have to do if you don't want to read the device is just go into the Play Store and download them directly and problem solved. Okay, and now one of the first applications that we're gonna try it out here is going to be the YouTube application. As we can see right now, I have a video on here, but here we have all my uploads. And we're going to go ahead and open the last video that I made about the Xiaomi Redmi 2. And here we're going to notice guys that not only it is a loudspeaker on the bottom, but also supports up to 720p uh, playback and videos. As we can see right there, that's definitely a plus. And now we're going to check here the sound quality. There we have it. And as we can tell, it is quite loud right now. Now, some issues that I already encountered with this device is going to be about the APN settings. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you're using a big company like T-Mobile or AT&T and you're just going to pop in your SIM card, then you don't have to worry about it. But if you're using companies here in the USA, I'm not sure about other countries, but here in the USA, Straight Talk, Net10, those are companies that work with AT&T, but they're not coming from AT&T directly. So that means that we have to set up some APNs. Now here I notice a bug every time I try to set up the APNs on this particular model. You're going to see here that right now it did accept it up to four of them. Now the ones for T-Mobile, they are inputted automatically, but the ones for Straight Talk, as you guys can see, I put them on here. Now every time I try to activate them, it doesn't do anything. However, I'm able to add the new APN, but I cannot activate it. And this device is going to support 3G with AT&T once again but I cannot get it to work because of that reason. And again, that's a bug in the system. The great news is that the Elfon company has noted about the issue and they're gonna come with an update very soon. Now, even though we have the bug with the APN, the great news is that this is going to support OTA, which is wireless updates. So every time we go here into about device, we're going to see on the top, it says wireless update. And this is how uh, this company Elfon is going to fix the bug for the APNs. They're going to do it uh, wirelessly, of course. You guys have to constantly be checking. I believe that within a week or so, we're going to get the update to fix the problem. And right now, every time we check, it's going to say your system is up to date or sometimes it says connection failed. That means that there's none right now. And trust me guys, there is going to be an update to of course fix this problem. But if you're using the original carrier like AT&T directly or T-Mobile, you guys don't have to be worried about it because it's going to work automatically. And there we saw the connection failure. So right now it is currently not working. Other than the fact that this device right now is having APN settings problems and also it comes with one gigabyte of RAM, I gotta say that those are the two cons or the only two cons that I saw about this phone. Other than that, this is an amazing device. So if you guys are going to use this device for gaming and download a lot of applications, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you're going to use this just to download some basic games and use it mostly for talk, browsing, and maybe texting, then this is a device for you. And so with that being said, the next thing we're going to do here, guys, is go ahead and test the GPS. The GPS on this phone is quite strong. So let's go ahead and check the next clip and let me know what you guys think. Alrighty, guys, and here we have the GPS test of the L phone G7. And as we can tell right now, it's working quite well. It is very accurate. And the great news is that we don't need to customize it or root the device to get it working. It comes like this right out of the box. And now let's go ahead and test it from inside of the house. Alrighty guys, and there we have it for the GPS test and here I have opened the GPS application itself and we can see that right now it is locking a signal from inside of the house so without questions this is going to have a very strong GPS. Now if you guys want to get the best signal reception I would just recommend rooting the device and installing faster GPS that way you guys can get the best signal possible out there. And the next thing we're going to check out here is going to be the camera. Again, the back is going to be a 13 megapixel sensor. The front is going to be an 8 megapixel sensor. So let's go ahead and check the next clip and let me know what you guys think. Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Jay and here we are testing the 13 megapixel sensor camera of the L Phone G7. And as you guys can see, the colors are very vivid. The overall focus is pretty good, except that it doesn't have optical M stabilization. So the picture may look a little bit jumpy. Other than that, it is a decent camera. Now let's test the front facing camera. Alrighty guys, and here we have the 8 megapixel sensor camera of the L Phone G7. And as we can tell, these cameras are getting better and better. At least the L Phone G7 being an 8 megapixel sensor, the quality appears to be quite decent. The colors are very nice and the overall stabilization is also pretty good. Okay guys, and there we have it for the camera test and here I have the actual camera itself. We're going to see that it is very nice and the quality is very good as well. Again, this is going to be definitely a 13 megapixel sensor and then on the top here, we're going to have some options like beauty face, we have panorama mode and many other modes. Uh, something that we have seen many times before, as a matter of fact, I think that almost every Android device comes with this basic camera app. So it is working quite well guys and I will be providing some picture samples on the description down below so that you guys can check the quality for yourselves. And now with that being said, uh, we're going to be playing here with some applications and games so that you guys can see the overall performance of this device. 
So I'm going to be putting a music in the background, make sure you guys enjoy it.
guys and there we have it for the performance of this device and as we can see it is performing quite well and the MTK6592 is going to save you a lot of battery because this time you had the one ending in M the one ending in M is only 1.4 gigahertz so that's also going to help with the battery and have in mind that this is only 720p display even though it looks a lot higher because the quality of the colors are very nice and vivid it's going to help you save a lot of battery now also this device does support uh, gesture wake so every time you guys uh, set it up to let's say letter C I set it up to open the camera if we type the letter C it's going to take me directly into the camera and we have many others to choose from I believe we have about 12 of them and to enable them or change them all you have to do is go here into settings you're going to see here on uh, common settings because we have two dividers on here we have common settings and then we have all settings but here we can find it it is called smart touch if you enable it all you have to do is tap on the actual one that you want to select a different application for for example this is going to be the letter O the letter O we can set it up to many other applications even applications that we recently downloaded we're going to see that here on the bottom these are all recent applications and you guys can choose whatever one you want to open with and we can see that the letter W is for browser and let's go ahead and test here the browser let's go ahead and type the letter W and we're going to see that it's going to take us here directly into the browser which is great now talking about the browser guys right now we can only test it on Wi-Fi because I'm having that issue with the 3G so I cannot enable it right now unfortunately so here we're going to go ahead and open uh, right now DHgate as is a very popular website out there to order Chinese devices or clones for the most part and as we can see right now it is working well again guys this is only with Wi-Fi let's go ahead and open now youtube.com I believe I have it here so of course on Wi-Fi it's going to load quite fast and that's because I'm getting here at the house about 20 megabits of download speed so yes everything's going to be very fast and the browser for the most part is working well now I really can't wait until L phone uh, fixes the issue with the 3G connectivity um, other than that guys this is a very nice phone very snappy as well it's not going to lag and as you guys can see I have many applications installed on here and it is performing quite well another thing we're going to do here before I forget is go ahead and test here the uh, Bluetooth let's go ahead and turn on the speaker and right now it's in Perry mode let's go now into settings I believe I have paired to this device before and here we have it let's go ahead and connect to it it takes uh, as normal like 5 to 10 seconds uh, nothing too fast and nothing too slow either and right now I believe it has connected let's go back once let's go here into audit profiles settings and let's check the quality The response time is quite good. Okay, and now that we have disconnected the speaker, we're going to test the speaker on the phone itself. Right now it's in max volume. The speaker on the bottom here, guys, is going to be actually quite impressive, better than what I thought. Okay, and then we have it for the sound test. The next thing we're going to do here is call 611 so that we can check the call quality. Let's place it on loudspeaker. For English, press 1. Para español, so there we can see that yes guys, it is quite loud. And now let's test here the ear speaker. There we can hear that yes, it is quite clear. Now it is not the loudest out there. I did encounter sometimes when I was outside with the wind noise. I had a hard time uh, listening to people, but for the most part, it's going to do its job. And I think guys, I have covered everything about this device, but before we leave, we're going to do two more things. I just want to also mention that this is going to support uh, OTG, which is USB on the go. So if you guys have one of these, all you have to do is just plug it in on the top. Let me see if I'm getting this correctly. And there we go. And we're going to see here guys that on the top is going to read it as a no good um, USB storage. And that's because we don't have a TF card installed on here. This is just so that you can connect it with the computer in case that your computer doesn't support TF card, in which mine doesn't. I have this little adapter and we can see that yes, it read it. And also we're going to go ahead and weight the device uh, so that you guys can see how much it weights. I believe right now I have it in pounds as I was shipping some items today. And I think it is in pounds. There we go guys, and right now we have it in grams. Let's go ahead and place the device on top. 
and this phone is going to be about 155 grams so there we can see that it is not the lightest and it is not the heaviest either i do like the metal frames on the side it makes it feel very nice and stylish and this phone for the most part is going to make you guys very very happy especially when the uh, 3g bug is fixed other than that guys i think i have concluded this video and of course like always if you guys do have any questions please don't forget to comment down below please like the video subscribe for more thanks for watching and have a good one